swelling in the legs is extremely common and it can be caused by multiple different things. I'm gonna go more in depth on this topic of what causes swelling in the legs in a different video, but today in this video, we're gonna focus more on how to reduce the swelling. Specifically, I'm gonna show a step-by-step -step routine on lymphatic drainage to help reduce swelling in the legs, the ankles, and the feet. Lymphatic drainage is a massage-like technique that is used in a specific sequence with a specific technique to help guide fluid out of a congested area. My name is Kelly, I'm a physical therapist, and I specialize in lymphedema or swelling as well as oncology. And today in this video, we're gonna go through a step-by-step -step routine that you can follow along with. However, if someone wants a handout or a sheet with a diagram and the steps on it, you can find that on my website at cancerrehabpt.com. You can also follow along with us on Instagram or subscribe down below for more related content. But we'll get started. So I'm gonna be doing this routine today sitting up, maybe laying down for a little bit, but this can be done sitting in a chair or reclined. It can be done in bed. Someone can lay down and put their leg up on one of these bolsters so gravity can help move the fluid out as well. Whatever makes it easy, whatever works for someone. But today I'm gonna to be doing a lot of it sitting up so it's easier to see. So the first thing we always wanna do is stimulate the deep lymph nodes in your abdomen. You have a lot of lymph nodes in there and all of the fluid from the legs have to go through the abdomen into those deep channels to get back to the heart. So we wanna make sure that we're stimulating this area. So what we'll do is put our hand on the abdomen, gently pressing in, take a nice big belly breath, feeling your belly expand into your hand, and then let it out. And then I'm gonna move just a little bit to another area of the abdomen, take a big breath in and out. A third, breath in and out. And then one more, breath in and out. So when, once we've stimulated the abdominal lymph nodes, someone can also go ahead and stimulate the head and neck lymph nodes and the armpit lymph nodes, just doing circles around the collarbone or clavicle, below the ear and in the armpits, maybe five to 10 of each. But we're gonna move on pretty quickly to make this shorter. And we're gonna start with the lymph nodes in the groin area. So the lymph nodes sit right about where the crease is. When someone bends up the hip, they're right about there. So either sitting or reclined, you can just do circles right on those areas. And so you can do both at the same time, or you can do one at a time, whatever works. But we're just doing eight to 10 of those. From there, what we wanna do is to start to clear the area. So if someone just has swelling from the knees down towards the feet, you know, they might just wanna start from the bottom. We really wanna make sure there's no congestion up top. So if someone has lymphedema in the legs that ha and they have you know, diagnosed or had lymph nodes removed or have a diagnosis, we always wanna make sure that we're moving all of the fluid out up towards the armpit areas. If someone has a healthy lymphatic system, they can go a little bit more towards these lymph nodes, but again, a lot of it we're working up. And so we wanna make sure we're clearing that lower abdomen first. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to work the fluid up the side of the body towards the armpit. So working everything upwards, trying to make sure that we're getting as much of this congestion out of the area and up. So we're gonna do five to eight strokes on one side. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So you won't be able to see, but it's just working up the side of the body on the other side from the hip to the armpit area. Five to eight times. And then we're gonna move on. And so if someone then wants to work around the hip area and say they have swelling in the pelvis, we can also work you know, the lower abdominal, we can work that up a little bit as well. So if someone's congested. If someone has a healthy lymphatics, we can actually work towards the lymph nodes. So if we have swelling and backup, we always wanna work up. If we have healthy um, lymphatics and no swelling, we can work out more towards the sides. Doing five to eight in either of those directions. 
From there, we wanna make sure we work on the side. So either laying on your side, or hopefully you can see here, the fluid from the back, the lymph vessels actually wrap around the body towards the front. Instead of just going up the back, we're actually gonna work around to the front of the body. So from through the hip, through the glute area, throughout the low back, kind of actually wrapping around. If there's congestion there, we still wanna work it up towards the armpit, but we're working up and around. So five to eight times in each area. And then from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start down the leg. And so we're gonna do one leg at a time. Someone can do two at the same time, one on each side, that's fine. I'm just gonna use two hands for one leg. We're gonna look at the leg in section. So we're looking at the thigh, the lower leg, and the foot and the toes. And so we wanna start with the top. The reason we don't start with the bottom is again, because if this is congested, this is going to get backed up on the way out. So we wanna start from the top to clear the congested area first before we make our way down. And so even if someone does not have uh, thigh swelling, maybe they just have swelling from the knees down, we still wanna make sure we're doing the thigh part. So I'm gonna use both hands, as much surface area as possible. We're just going to work up the leg. We wanna make sure that we get all angles of the leg, but everything is working towards that hip crease, towards those groin or inguinal lymph nodes. So five to eight times in the front and the sides. Now as you get to the true side, so I'm on the inner thigh, side of the thigh and the outer at the same time, as you get closer, you actually wanna to start to wrap towards the front, okay? Because the lymph nodes are in the front and the vessels actually wrap around towards that front. So up and then kind of wrapping towards the front five to eight times. And then we can also work in the back of the thigh. So similar thing, the vessels in the back actually wrap around towards the front. And so I'm kind of wrapping the inner thigh and the outer in the same way. I know they're both hard to see, but wrapping around towards the front from the back. And someone can spend two minutes there or doing their five to eight times or they can spend more time there if they really have a lot of congestion or swelling. But once we've done the whole thigh, then what I'm gonna stop and do is do some circles behind the knee. You have some lymph nodes that sit right behind the knee. So we just wanna stimulate those lymph nodes. Five to eight circles. And then I'm also gonna work around the knee. So it turns a little so you can see. I'm gonna work around the kneecap around that bony area. The fluid likes to sit in little crevices or anytime there's little space and around bony areas there tends to be more space. We just wanna work around the bones. And then from there, we're gonna move down towards the lower leg. And so I'm gonna work from the ankle to the knee. Same thing, using as much surface area as I can with my hands and working up. And then work on the sides. Five to eight times there. And then for the back of the leg, we don't necessarily need to do the same thing as the thigh. Because those lymph nodes are actually right behind the knee, we can go directly upwards in the back. We don't have to wrap around towards the front. But we're guiding that fluid from the ankle to the knee. Use as much of your hands as you have available. Again, spend as much time as you need. So a lot of people have swelling around that ankle, so they'll spend a little bit more time there and that's great. From there, when someone's ready to move on, what we're gonna do is work around the ankle. So around those ankle bones on either side, the inside and outside, just making circles around the bone. It's another area that a lot of fluid likes to sit. So we just wanna use our fingers a little bit more and just really get in between and around those bones. And then we're gonna work on the top of the foot. 
And if someone has some tendons that are a little more prominent in that area, you can use your fingertips to kind of get in between those tendons. And then same thing with the toes. We can do all the toes together. Or if someone has more swelling, they can do each toe individually. Whatever is needed. Everything is working upwards. So again, if someone's laying down with one of those bolsters or they can put their leg up in the air, gravity can help with that. So we've made our way from the abdomen, the pelvis, all the way down the leg to clear the area. Now we're gonna go in reverse to help get the fluid moving up and out of that area. So we're just gonna go back up towards the foot and then we're gonna go back around that ankle. Between five to eight or more if needed. And then we're gonna go from the ankle to the knee. So working upwards. Making sure we're getting all sides of the leg can spend more time at the ankle if that area is more swollen. And then same thing in the back of the lower leg, you can go straight up the back. And you don't have to press hard with this massage, it's actually a light massage. You're doing more of a skin stretch than anything. If someone has had fluid for a long time, maybe their skin or their tissue is a little thicker, we call that fibrosis. We might work a little bit more deep into those areas, but otherwise for lymphatic drainage, it is very light. So after we've done the lower leg, you can stop and do a little behind the knee, do a couple more circles to stimulate those lymph nodes again. And then I'm gonna work in the front of the knee to work around that kneecap. And then we're gonna go back to the thigh, working towards the front of that hip. So the front of the thigh is pretty straightforward. You're just going straight up. And then when we get to the sides, we're kinda of starting to wrap towards the front a little bit, especially that inner thigh. Make sure that you're scooping it up towards the front. And then after we've done that, we're gonna to go to the back of the thigh. And remember, this is when we were trying to wrap towards the front as we go, because that is the direction the lymphatic vessels run. We're just guiding the fluid through those vessels. We're gonna do a three to five times there. I'm going a little fast, so slow down and pause if you need to. Spend more time where you need to. And then once we get all the way back to the front or toward the inside, we're gonna make sure that we clear this area. We moved it all to here, we wanna make sure it's moving. So if someone has lymphatic issues, we're gonna go up the side of the body towards the armpit lymph nodes, making sure you can work into that hip too, kind of up and around. Or if someone has that lower pelvis, we can kind of work that up as well. Or if it's healthy lymph nodes, we can go directly to those lymph nodes. It just depends on the cause, again, which I'll talk about in another video. So after we've done that, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna turn so someone can see. We're gonna start at the top. And so we wanna make sure that we're working on decongesting. So we're gonna do circles if you need to redo them. And then from there, we're gonna work up towards the side. So from the hip to the armpit. If they have lower pelvis swelling, we're gonna kinda work upwards. If there's congestion away from those lymph nodes, if there's no congestion or no issues towards the lymph nodes. 
And then if we're working around the back and the hip, we're kind of working up towards the front. Up and around. Not straight up the back until you get to the side, but up and around either towards the lymph nodes or up towards the armpit. Again, I know that can get confusing, so a lymphedema therapist can help guide you for your personal needs. And once we've done that, then we're gonna go down the leg. So I'm gonna start with the thigh. We're gonna clear the area first. So working on the front. As much surface area of the hand as possible. And then after we've done a few on the front, we're gonna work more towards the sides, starting to work towards the front as we get there. Wrap towards the front. And after we've done about five, we're gonna work towards the back of the thigh. Same thing, starting to wrap around towards the front. And after we've done the whole thigh, or as much time as someone wants, we're gonna stop and do some circles behind the back of the knee. We'll do about five to eight. And then we'll work around the knee. So again, working around the kneecap. If there are any pockets of swelling, you can spend more time there. And then we're gonna go on to the lower leg. So working from the ankle to the knee. Do five in the front. And then once we've done that, we're gonna go on to the sides. We're going straight up. I'm doing the inside and outside at the same time. And then remember when we get to the back, you can go straight directly up. You don't need to wrap around. So working straight upwards towards the back of the knee, towards those lymph nodes behind the knee. After we've done the whole lower leg, then we're gonna go around towards the ankle. So I'm gonna start around those ankle bones. So just scooping around the bones on the inside and the outside. Kind of work it back into that heel, the Achilles, that tendon behind the ankle can really hold some fluid. And then we're gonna work on the top of the foot. And then we'll also work into the toes. But again, if you have a lot in between those tendons, you can use your fingertips to kind of get in between the tendons. And then we can go into the toes. So either the whole hand, or if you want to go individual, you can go each toe by itself. And then, like we did the other leg, we're gonna reverse in the other direction. We've cleared the area, we're gonna now move fluid. So we're gonna go back up to the foot. Five to eight times, and then we're gonna go around the heel again, around the ankles, around those bones. And then we're gonna go back up, working on the lower leg. If someone was doing this sitting in a chair, it'd be easy to try to cross the ankle over the knee. I know that's hard. Sometimes putting the foot up on a step stool can also help. 
And if someone's unable to reach their feet and can only do the lower leg, then doing just the lower leg is just fine. So whatever you are able to do, something is better than nothing. Working towards the back. And then after we've done the whole lower leg, I'm gonna stop and do a little bit behind the knee. Kind of work into those lymph nodes again. And then we'll also make sure we do the front of the knee. Around that kneecap, around the bone. And then we're gonna go back to the thigh. So working in the front, towards the front of the hip. And then we're gonna work in the sides, wrapping towards the front, especially at the end there. And then also in the back, and this is where we want to start to wrap around towards the front. And once we've done as much as someone would like in the thigh, or at least a few times in each area, we can also finish with that hip, kind of wrapping up and around. And then again, you can finish with working that fluid up the side of the body towards the armpit. And then once we've done the lower legs and the pelvis or as much as someone will need, then we're always gonna finish with a few more belly breaths. So putting the hand on the belly, gently pressing inwards, taking a big deep breath. Feel your belly expand into your hands. Let your breath go. <sighs> gently sinking the hands deeper into the abdomen. Same thing, another one, number two, breath in. And then breath out. Number three, breath in and out. And then one more breath in and out. And so that's a full routine for lymphatic drainage for both legs if someone has lymphedema and some modifications too if someone has a healthy lymphatics. Um, either way, all the fluid moves upwards no matter what type of um, lymphedema or lymphatic system someone has, but it just alters a little bit based on the lymph nodes up above. If you have other videos that you want to see similar to this, be sure to comment those down below. And again, if someone is looking for a handout with a diagram and pictures and step-by-step -step instructions on which direction and the sequencing of lymphatic drainage, I have that on my website so you can check that out further. Otherwise, we will see you all next week for another video. Thanks everyone.